The revolver's cylinder has six chambers. A nipple or cone is screwed at the back of each chamber. Then a percussion cap, which holds sensitive primary explosive, is placed on the nipple. Every chamber is filled with a measured quantity of gunpowder. Then a .36 caliber lead ball is placed in each chamber. When the latch is pressed, the loading lever is released. As the loading lever is pulled down, it pushes the rammer forward to press the bullets firmly against the gunpowder, creating a seal. Aiming is done with the help of front sight, and it has an effective range of up to 225 feet. Let's understand the cylinder's revolving mechanism. The hand is connected to the hammer. As the hammer is pulled back, the hand rises up. This upward movement engages the ratchet teeth of the cylinder, causing it to revolve. Now let's examine the firing process. The trigger is pressed against the hammer by the flat spring. As the hammer is cocked back, the main spring undergoes compression. The trigger then glides into the notch in the hammer. When the trigger is pressed, the compressed main spring pushes the hammer forward, striking the percussion cap. The spark from the percussion cap travels through the nipple, igniting the gunpowder. The ignited powder creates a high-pressure gas that propels the bullet out of the barrel at high velocity. It has a muzzle velocity of 750 feet per second. While firing, the hand slides over the ratchet teeth and reaches to its initial position. It is called as a single-action revolver, as the operator has to cock the hammer to fire each round. Before firing the revolver, the cylinder chamber has to align perfectly with the barrel. For that, there is a cylinder bolt. The bolt locks into these notches on the cylinder, preventing accidental rotation while firing. When the hammer is cocked back, a small peg on its side pivots the bolt along the screw. This pivotal movement disengages the bolt from the cylinder notch and frees the cylinder to rotate. As the cylinder rotates, the bolt slides over to the next notch. Once the bolt clears the hammer peg, the compressed flat spring pushes the bolt up into the notch and locks the cylinder in place. While firing, the slope shape wedge on the hammer peg squeezes the bolt and the bolt slides over the peg. After it clears the peg, it gets back to its initial position. This process repeats for each shot until all six rounds are fired. The revolver is widely used in Wild West, also called as the percussion peacemaker. Even throughout American Civil War, the Colt 1851 and 1860 models were widely used by both the armies.